Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another videos for MRCS exam. This is the question and answer session and here is the question. A 28 years old man requires a urethral catheter to be inserted prior to undergoing a splenectomy. Where is the first site of resistance to be encountered on inserting the catheter? So in this uh, question you can see 28 years old man requires urethral catheter due to the operation that means uh, operation is splenectomy so what are the first side to resistance of the urethra and here are the options the options are bulbar urethra membranous urethra internal sphincter prosthetic urethra and bladder neck so we have to find out the most constricted part of the urethra because most resistance will develop at the site where the urethra is the most narrowest so in this picture here we can see and uh, this is the urinary bladder and here this is the urethra and here we can see this part from here to here this is the penile urethra and the second part here we can see this is the bulbar urethra and third part there is the membranous urethra and last of all it is the prosthetic urethra so it is very easy then we can see this is the bladder then prosthetic urethra membranous urethra then here this is the bulbar urethra and finally penile urethra and here we can see the urethra usually it can be divided into two parts one is the anterior urethra another one is the posterior urethra anterior urethra it uh, consists of penile and bulbar urethra that means this part and this part and membranous and prosthetic urethra they are posterior part that means this part we can see here the posterior Path is very short and here we can see easily the diameter here we can see there the diameter then here and we can see the this part the, this that means this is the membranous part it is the most narrow parts of the urethra in this picture we also can see the urethra here first of all here this is the penile urethra and here the bulbar urethra and the membranous and prosthetic urethra and we can see this part this is the membranous part of the urethra it is the most narrowest part of the urethra so our final answer will be the membranous urethra the membranous urethra it is as it is the most narrowest part so the pass resistance will be develop here because when the catheter passes from here up to the here and this is the bulbar it is the dilated part so resistance usually decrease but when membranous part resistance will be increased so our final answer is the membranous urethra the membranous urethra it shows path resistant during the catheterization procedure 